What up, this is Ramash Queen covering movies, TV and entertainment and here's my review of The Friendship Game. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. Let's rock this. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest with you, right off the bat, The Friendship Game is a total bust. This is an insignificant, mediocre, paranoia thriller that tries to be all Black Mirror, and also tries to be all Donnie Darko, but it ultimately ends up being just a nonsensical, pointless clusterfuck. Sure, it has some nifty little visual tricks that make the characters glitch, like computer graphics gone haywire, but while the script throws them into a nightmarish hellscape, the alternate reality twist never really comes into anything conclusive, let alone meaningful. I mean, for something that supposedly tests your friendship, this game instead tests your patience and throws you for a loop. And it's 87 minutes that I'll never get back. Written by Damien Ober and directed by Scooter Karkle, the friendship game follows a group of teens as they come across a strange object that tests their loyalties to each other and has increasingly destructive consequences the deeper into the game they go. Starring Peyton List, Brendan Meyer, Kelsey Moema, Caitlin Santa Juana, and Dylan Shambing. I'm not gonna lie, the biggest reason why I wanted to check out this movie was because I'm a huge fan of Peyton Liss from the famed Cobra Kai series. I wanted to see how she would fare in a genre that doesn't require her to do roundhouse kicks. Plus, that green hair looks pretty good on her, at least I think so. As I implied earlier, the friendship game is like a missing Black Mirror episode that runs 40 minutes too long. It starts off promising, with four friends sharing their deepest, darkest desires to one another, not knowing that they're being watched by a hacker who's close to home. By the way, the object basically just looks like a glorified 8-ball with edges on it. And what comes after that is a Groundhog Day effect in which they keep reliving the same party again and again, but with different turn of events, depending on which character perspective you're viewing it through. And that's when the game starts messing with their heads because nothing is what they seem to be. But the friendship game's intrigue loses its charms once you realize that the script is more focused on creating chaos, confusion, and madness rather than to actually convey something, anything at all. The performances by the four key actors are also stuck in constant bewilderment. There's hardly any range to it. Even Peyton herself cannot save this slow motion car crash. The overarching mystery is Cotton's disappearance, but they never go nowhere near cracking it wide open at the end than they were at the beginning. Some of the sound mix and the imageries are also way too jarring. It feels like you're being strapped to a chair while someone forces a strobe light on you. Listen, some stories don't deserve to have their own feature length presentation. Some stories should be treated like an episode in a much larger collection of anthology. Case in point, The Friendship Game.